Let's go to Omar Villafranca in Panacea, Florida. He's near where the storm came ashore. Omar, good morning. Good morning. Hermine made landfall about 15 miles from here, and the storm left its mark. Thousands of trees like this one were toppled over. This one just happens to be about 50 feet tall. It's now blocking this road. Thousands of people are still without power, and that storm surge flooded entire communities. Overnight, Hermine smashed into Florida's Gulf Coast, making landfall as a Category 1 hurricane around 1.30 a.m. Eastern Time, dumping torrential rain and unleashing powerful winds of 80 miles per hour. The first hurricane to hit the state of Florida in more than a decade has already knocked out power to tens of thousands of people. Roads in Alligator Harbor have been torn apart. Massive storm surges, some projected to be up to 12 feet high, are pummeling coastal areas. Evacuations are underway in areas north of Tampa, where water has jumped over seawalls and started to push into homes. I don't know the condition of my house. I don't know if it's flooded or if it isn't. It's really, really, really bad. Like, I've never seen it this bad before. As Hermine churns northward, the street is completely underwater. It's soaking parts of Florida that have already seen close to two feet of rain over the last three days. Governor Rick Scott has declared a state of emergency in 51 counties with 6,000 National Guardsmen on standby. He's urging everyone not to take any chances with this storm. We can rebuild a home. We can rebuild a business. We cannot rebuild your life. The storm has lost some of its destructive power as it heads north into Georgia. No word yet on if this storm has killed anyone. Nora? That is some good news. Omar, thank you so much.